Well, good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday, what, the 28th, I believe? Today's officially the first day of the rally here in Maryville, Tennessee, the Smoky Mountain Bike Week, we're calling it. And uh, we're not even set up yet. But the storm has passed, and uh, Talon and Amanda should be here within the hour, and we're going to start our setup. So taking Baby D out to do his business. And then uh, we're gonna get to it. So I'm still not expecting Amanda or Talon to be here for another 30 minutes or so, but I'm uh, getting things opened up, getting the ramp down. I'm gonna start pulling some of the metal out, I think. Yesterday, I went ahead and filled up all the water barrels. So we've got them for ballast. And uh, just trying to get a little bit of a, a head start on what we've got to do today. Fortunately, clouds are rolling in. I feel sprinkles in the air, but I don't think it's gonna be anything to worry about. All right, so it's just after 9 a.m. now. Talon arrived as I was pulling the metal out for the trailer awning. So he helped me get that up really quick. Now I'm up on the roof of Goliath. And Amanda has just pulled in. So she will be joining me up here too because she's the second part of the aerial team. So I'm gonna go ahead and start handing this metal down to Talon. He can at least start getting the stuff hooked up down there. All right, so both of the frameworks are set up, but we had to do an aerial team trade out. Talon went up there with Amanda and it's gonna sound stupid, but this is why. Because this parking lot is downhill, in order for me to level the truck and level the trailer, I had to disconnect them, and I pulled them about three and a half feet apart. So for the gangway to work, we had to extend the gangway out. It is an extendable walk plank, so not a problem reaching it. But for some reason, when it was time for me to cross it with it being wider, wider of a gap, it messed with my head. I got the anxiety in my chest. I've never had that happen before. Kind of new, kind of weird. So Talon decided he would just go there because he didn't want me to fall. I don't know that I would have fallen. I would have overcome it, but he's like, Dad, just, just let me do it. So he's right, doing guys, it. Guys, just a little bit after 10.30, the awnings are up. The girls are getting product pulled out here for the uh, showroom area. Talon and I have got the lifts and the service area almost set up. Next, we got to send Amanda up to the loft because the loft is really short and she doesn't have to bend over as far. All right, so the next step is I've got to take the lift up to where it meets the loft up there and get all that stuff out of the loft. That way the girls can finish setting up the showroom side and I can set up the love jugs and the batteries. But uh, like I said, we usually send Amanda up there because Talon and I are too tall and it's not comfy. So we need shorty in a place. All right, guys, John and Mindy showed up today to say hi. They're uh, out of Dalton, Georgia, and just wanted to stop in and uh, hang out at the Bike Week a little bit. Say hi to guys. You guys, we're going to shout out to anybody, loved ones at home. No. <laughs> All right, we'll keep it simple then. So that gentleman just walked by with that beautiful Doberman pincer. And Talon brought Jessa with him today to help set up. And so Jessa and Diego are in the house just losing their minds right now. They want to come out and play with the Doby. All right, JP has got their awning up. They're still setting up their insides. Challenger's got all their trikes out. And check out the old Corvair pickup truck fan combo thingy majiggy, which we call it rat rowdy looking coolness. Oh, it's a Ford actually. I thought it was a Corvair. Well, and unfortunately, it is raining on us again. It's just a light mist, just enough to be annoying, not enough to stop us from doing what we're doing. But how you doing, man? Look, Wide Open Customs has opened up. They got some of the best audio fairings you're ever gonna find on the market. It's one of their fairings that I have on my Street King, which is why we call it a Street King, because it's a Road King with one of their fairings. It looks kind of like a street light. Yeah, RollingThrottle.com over here and Suspension Technologies. And it looks like Mustang Seats is pretty much all set up and ready to rock and roll. They put their awnings up yesterday, so they're ahead of the game. And JP Cycles getting their little service area fixed up here. You know, they do tires and they do oil changes as well, but they use that Lucas. Oh, sorry, I almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> So it's about quarter to one and we're pretty much done. Uh, you know, I'm setting up the figure out of dipsticks. Katie's figuring out the wild willies display, but 99.9% .9 we're done. So Talon and Amanda are jumping in the dually with Jessa. They're heading home. If you guys remember, they are not working this rally with us. They are taking the other rig, the Overland Express rig out to Myrtle Beach for the fall rally there. 
they're both happening in the same week. So they just drove up here since we're so close to home to help us set up because we're shorthanded. And then they're gonna go do their thing down there. Hopefully both events will do good. So if you're coming to Smoky Mountain Bike Week, come see us here at the Foothills Mall right behind the Publix. If you're going to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, go down to Myrtle's Inn, let the car wash right across here from the Beaver Bar and see Amanda, Chip, and Tao. Oh, whatever you want to say, say it. Keep those engines running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's up. Good morning, you too. <laughs> Well guys, it's amazing the difference it makes from this morning. Almost nobody was set up and now we have a little vendor village going on here. I haven't had a chance to walk around and see everybody that's here yet, but uh, I know there's some pretty good names on the roster. Some are here, some are over at the dealership. So this event is split up between the two different properties here at the Foothills Mall where we are and at the Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson dealership as well. Oh guys, despite the weather, there are still people out walking around. Not a lot of them, but there's still people out here checking things out. We have, I, I sold a figure out he dip sick a minute ago. You guys know that those things are awesome. And uh, one of our viewers saw it on uh, one of the videos and came over and got one from us. And uh, now Katie is ringing up a customer that we need to do a front and rear brake flush. As soon as he gets that motorcycle over here, we will get all those fluids changed out for him pretty quick. I just finished up doing the front and rear brake flush on the Lowrider ST. Definitely a cool bike. I mean, if you want a performance Harley Davidson, this is probably one of the coolest ones to have. You know, I opted for the Road Glide just because of size and I wanted something more for touring and performance bagger. But if you just want a performance bagger, this would be the way to go. The ST Lowrider is actually really, really cool. Anyway, as I was just finishing that up, we got this gentleman came in with a Tri Glide, going to do an oil change. And I think Katie just signed up another customer who's going to get his bike too. So. I'm all by myself over here in the service department today and looks like they're going to try to keep me busy, which I'm okay with. All right, so I had a little bit of a break between those last couple of motorcycles and I've been servicing one of my lifts, trying to fix it. I have an issue where some of these wheels want to fall off when we're rolling it. I think I did a video back in Myrtle where I wallowed out a, a washer to catch the C-clip because the C-clip isn't enough to hold the seal on and the seal is all that holds the wheel on so when the seal comes off the wheel comes off but i'm missing some of the parts anyway we got another bike come in looks almost like mine 5,000 mile service it's the same color as mine it's just got all the stock badging and the chrome trim and uh if i'm honest really glad i got the black trim oh guys it is now almost eight o'clock I finished that thousand mile service, I don't know, a while ago, a long time ago, probably by like 6.30 or so. But I uh, was working on the lifts, trying to get the wheels fixed and I think I got it all taken care of. I still didn't find those seals I was looking for, but I at least got the big metal stops on there. Now I'm closing up, chopping all the curtains, put myself in the dark apparently. And uh, we are gonna chill out for the rest of the night. We actually got pretty lucky for dinner. Uh, a couple guys from Papa John's came by and apparently there was a big game that was scheduled for today. And the people had ordered like $1,500 worth of pizza. Well, because of the weather, the game got canceled, but they forgot to cancel the pizza order. So these Papa John's guys were walking through here with just a bunch of pizzas and sold them to us for six bucks a piece. Just Katie and I, so we only bought two. It's almost a shame the whole crew wasn't here because we could have fed everybody, but we can only eat so much. So dinner was cheap tonight anyways. And uh, now we're just really looking forward to a nice hot shower. So get the hot water heater on and Kitty wants ice cream. So I'm gonna walk over to Publix, get her some ice cream while she's showering. When we come back, I'll shower. So definitely not the way we thought today was gonna turn out. 
I thought the weather was going to be nicer today than it was. I was hoping for more business today. If this wasn't a setup day, this would have been terrible business. But because it was a setup day, you know, doing the four bikes on the setup day is not that bad. But this should have been opening day to the rally. And for an opening day, it was terrible business. But we don't know what to expect here. We don't have anything to compare it to. So I can't say it's worse than last year or better than last year like we normally do. It just is what it is. Is what it is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time I see you, keep those engines running. Remember, we're in Tennessee. Talon, Chip, and Amanda headed to Myrtle.